can be Ooh, absolutely yeah. horrific to deal with. But no, Zai going to come on through, which does mean RA, uh, you probably have to go for the Rakan, right? Just to deny the combo. We'll have to see if they feel pressured into doing so. Yeah, we will. Ash, I mean, if they go Ash, then I feel like cleanse value is super high for both Cream if he doesn't want teleport and able. We'll go towards the Jinx, so more hyper carry focus. Where does Bao Lan land? Now, right, it's blind pick into PP God. The composition from OMG is relatively non committal. It doesn't really have to go in. Double AD carry, two front line. I wouldn't even mind for PP God if he doesn't want the Rakan Zaya lane for him to just actually land on an Enchanter as well. Let's see what Bao Lan does because. I feel like you've already got Engage. If you want to stack it, you can go something like Nautilus. Try and use the Depth Charge to force out the Zaya ultimate. I feel like that's maybe the way that they just go. OMG, they just go towards the Rakan just for the combination. Braum wouldn't be too bad here, to be honest. A fair amount of Engage, but they go towards that Rakan just because it's Lover's Duo. and They want that laning power and prowess, and they will find it. So a lot of uh, ability to go forwards here from OMG with Aki. And PP got both massive engage tools, plenty of follow-up damage as well. But RA on the other side, they've got plenty of tools to make their own lane advantages. Like Leyen on this Sejuani, if he can focus on Strive or Shaoshu, certainly can build himself up some leads. So I feel like this early game, we could have a bit of opposite play here, where we see Aki playing towards the Zaya Rakan and, and Leyen playing up towards the top side and kind of a bit of a trade. Certainly possible. Technically, overtake Weibo, if I recall correctly. As uh, I'll stop talking about the leaderboard stuff for now. Arky is approaching the top side. I don't know if Shaoshu will. Ah, he doesn't have E. He might just be dead. Oh, he's going to get knocked straight into the sapling as well. Changi first blood. Beautiful stuff here from OMG. Anyway, uh, Zuma Meat coming out. There's uh, 2v2 in the top side. Shaoshu should be pretty close to hitting level 6 himself, but right now it's Shanji. Who is already six. Arky's here, and of course he's covering because he knows Leon's here. So they're, they're actually trying to bait out this 2v2, and here you go. Shanji with the all out, and in comes Aki as well. Oh. Dominus to keep him alive though. Shanji flashes away, flashed on by Leon, but dives back in, and Shaoshu cuts him down with the glaive, and everything we set up. Cream decides not to commit onto Bowland there, doesn't know where Leon is on the map. But two plates taken individually by Cream in that mid lane. Now the reset came on through, but you can see Assume moving over there. It'll be Strive down in the bottom side now to try and defend the remaining two plates. But Drake is the objective that OMG are looking for here as they move towards that area. Start DPSing down. They end in the zone though, and oh, Shanji. He's moving over. Shaoshu has TP. I think it's going to be too late, though. The Drake's going to be already taken. Lien moves in, but Drake is down. Bao Lan falls, and RA all over the place here. Just not coordinated. They make it too late to the Drake, and they even lose their support. Quite slow, very hesitant. Now OMG have the window to engage. Quickness in the roots, follow it up as well. Cream on the top side of the players. Able oh. is untouched so far. Shaoshu with a bit of sustain and Shanji still surviving. Now 1v1ing Lien as well. Shanji, that was clean. And the flash forward for the feathers. OMG just destroyed RA. Pretty much I know. It's been such a quiet game. How does that not wow. hit Able? What? And they're still going to be able to get that kill. So at least they do finish the job on that one. I have no idea how he wasn't stunned by that. PP God goes down as a double kill for a zoom. And now a chance for RA. But with three people here, they'll be able to defend the mid-tier one. Uh, uh, look, it happens. It happens. It there's a lot of there's a lot of reading to be done in League of Legends. Uh Shao Shu and Shanji. That's a lot of SHs. Well, not actually, but X is essentially an SH. Kinda. In Finying. Yeah. Sure. Sort of. Sort of. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> uh, PP God, maybe looking for an engage here. Quickness comes out. The ult from Lien to answer it. But there's the root. There's the knock up. And Cream with the follow up onto Baolan. And one pick might just be enough for the TP coming on through as well. It's going to be a rough couple of minutes now for Ari to try and defend, try and turtle. Actually, see if they can claw anything off the map. But I feel like OMG just have so much control. Ooh, this could be a dicey teleport. Honestly, there's four players here from. OMG, Strive will not get engaged on. I wasn't sure if they would just go ham on that one, but Cream is actually in the top side currently. So, Root comes out from Abel. 
Bit more damage, and the turret actually just dies to the minions. In the end, is able is going Ooh. aggro in this one. 4v5 as the roots come across here. Battle under target, but able flashes forward straight at Shaoshu. Featherstorm across the team, but Shaoshu surviving. PP God gets out with his life, and Shanji here to finish the job. Assume will be shredded. 4v5 as Strive gets a double kill, but the rest of his team has been torn asunder. Yeah, Kasanji as he so often does, turns that fight around. RA was starting to win out. There was a lot of healing coming out from Xiaoshu on the back line. I think the rocket from Asun from downtown also helped out in that dive. But OMG still prevail. The gold difference just about enough to get them through that team fight. I'm going to pick up this inhibitor in the top side, look for a reset, then go and take up that soul. Excellent stuff from OMG. But generally, I feel like that was probably the last chance that RA had at an even fight. Third items coming in now for Cream, Abel, not too far away, you have to imagine as well. From OMG. And an attempt from RA was good, but now here's an attempt from OMG and Engage. They want this dragon and they should just about get it. Well, the soul is taken before they even get in. And now RA in a fight against a team that is actually healing because they're in combat. In case anyone didn't know what Ocean Soul does. It's OMG in a death ball here. This team taken down four players in stride for the second time in as many minutes will find himself alone. And OMG, they might just end the game here. Just get the tower itself and see what they decide to do. With no Baron, the waves can get evaporated kind of quickly here. But again, Ari will start to be spread thin. And with this window for Cream, he will just take the tower and now this third inhibitor is wide open. Tristana is just so hard to deal with when she gets onto those towers. The TP onto the minion to guarantee the wave can't be cleared. And now OMG, three inhibs taken. RA packed into their base. Just a third of an Exus Tower remaining. They're desperately trying to hold on. And now, supers in every lane, plus double supers now. With their third inhib gone. This isn't getting any easier. RA might need to pull the trigger on a fight here. Try and find something. Their target is Aki, but he survives with a twisted advance. The bomb onto Lien is going to be the end of the game here. Xiao Shu killed by the feathers flying back in. As Cream just 2v1ing them on the Nexus, on the fountain here. The Nexus will go down as uh, Strive will join it in the last possible second. 19 to five. OMG, just decimated RA.